As a real estate investor or aspiring real estate investor, the key to success is being able to anticipate market trends and quickly adjust the way you transact business. That's how you capitalize on emerging opportunities. And I believe there are five crucial real estate trends to watch for in 2021. And on this video, I'm gonna break it down for you coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here, I'm Jerry Norton and I went from dead broke to millionaire flipping houses. And after doing a thousand deals, I created this channel to help you master the art of wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. Oh, hey, Hi. Josh, what you doing? I made you a crown of that duct tape. Because you're you a did? flipping king. Because <laughs> I'm the king of flipping? Yep. It says, I am a flipping genius. Let me see if it fits. Ooh, I love it. Thanks, Josh. That was nice of you. Well, 2020 definitely took us all by surprise. I mean, who could have predicted a global pandemic, a stay-at-home order, working from home becoming mainstream, record low mortgage rates, a huge housing shortage, and the list goes on. But the question now is how has all of these events affected the real estate market? And as a wholesaler and a flipper, what trends should you be aware of? How should you adjust going forward? And most importantly, where are the biggest opportunities? I've said this before and I'll say it again. The most successful real estate investors I know adjust and adapt quickly to market changes. When one door closes, another door always opens and the early implementers always capitalize the most. Never forget, the only thing that remains constant is change. Make change your best friend and you'll be wildly successful. On this video, I'd like to discuss what I believe are the five most significant trends this year that will affect you and me as flippers and the opportunities we can seize from each trend. The first trend is working at home is now commonplace. Many big corporations have realized employees can get as much done from home as they did in the office. That means they are not renewing their leases on office buildings and plan to let employees continue to work remotely. Those employees who used to live in expensive cities close to offices are now branching out to more reasonably priced suburbs and rural areas. People are also tired of all of the restrictions of big populated cities and are seeking out areas where they will have even more freedom. Now, even vacation towns are becoming permanent residents for people. As a flipper, start paying attention to the suburbs and rural areas. Recently, I wholesaled a deal in Rising Sun, Maryland. Now, to me, it was the middle of nowhere, but there were flips going on and strong demand from buyers. I wholesaled the deal to a Baltimore flipper who was willing to commute over an hour to rehab and flip that house. What's great about rural is there is less competition from other investors. Now, where not as many investors are looking for deals, and at the same time demand is high from buyers, that creates a great opportunity for you and me. This brings me to trend number two. Since more people are working from home along with quarantines and stay-at-home mandates, and overall less social interacting, the home environment is more important for buyers. Put simply, people want larger houses. Now more than ever, people want four bedroom homes instead of three bedrooms. They want pools, big patios and outdoor living, homeschool rooms, theater rooms, exercise rooms, privacy and no HOAs, and especially home offices and other features that make home life more comfortable and enjoyable. For me, I have 10 kids. We have an 80 gallon pool, three trampolines and a freaking half pipe in my garage so my <laughs> kids have stuff to do. My master bedroom alone is 2,500 square feet with two king beds, two balconies, and a kitchenette. For date night and to get a break from the kids, my wife and I lock the doors, order in food, and have a party by ourselves. Where do babies come from? The point is, with so many places still closed and travel limited, people want their homes to be their sanctuary. That means as a flipper, pay attention to important features of the home and look for ways to add value. On my flips, we're finishing basements, building decks, converting unused dining rooms into offices, and so on. Now, the third trend is an obvious one, but having a huge impact nonetheless. Interest rates are at a 50-year low, and low interest rates means more people want to purchase homes. Lower rates means lower payments, which means more people can afford to buy a house or buy more house. 
Think about it this way. A $300,000 loan at 3% is almost the same mortgage payment as a $200,000 home at 6%. Now this is a double-edged sword for us flippers. It means it's extremely competitive to find and secure discounted properties, but on the flip side, get it, the flip side? On the flip side, when you wholesale or flip the deal, it will sell quickly and for top dollar. More on this in a minute. Furthermore, access to capital to fund your investment deals is easier and cheaper than ever. In fact, I just did a video where I break down how to fix and flip houses with 100% funding. That means none of your own money. Now I'll put the link to that video in the description below and you can watch it later. This brings me to trend number four, which is low housing inventory. With the pandemic, many sellers put off selling because they don't want strangers coming into their homes. Now this has made the housing market very competitive. People are snatching up houses as soon as they come on the market, sometimes sight unseen, and they are selling for over asking price. Like I just mentioned, Low inventory means it's extremely competitive to find and secure good deals at a discount. In my flipping business, we have to work harder than ever before and spend twice as much in marketing from just a few years ago to find and secure good deals. But the trade-off is when we exit deals, we're selling for more than ever before. Our spreads on deals are huge. For example, when I was wholesaling houses after the 2008 market crash, my average wholesale assignments were 3,000 to 5,000. At the time, a home run wholesale was like 10,000. I remember doing a $12,000 assignment and I thought I was a flipping genius. Now a small wholesale is 10,000 to 15,000 and most of our wholesales are in the 20 to $30,000 range. By the way, if you think a $12,000 wholesale is still pretty sweet, leave a comment and say, Jerry, you were and still are a flipping genius. The point I wanna make with this trend is that the opportunity is in acquisitions. A losing strategy is to do less marketing, cut margins and make less money due to competition. The opportunity is to master the art of marketing, double down and do even more marketing, make even more offers, pay the extra price in time, energy, and effort to get that good deal, and you'll make up for it 10 times over on the exit when you wholesale or flip it. Now, if you're still working on your first deal and you don't have any money for marketing, be sure to get my free deal finding software tool that I developed. It's pretty cool. With the push of a button, it instantly finds and gives you a list of all of the underpriced on-market homes for sale in any zip code. Now to get that right now, just go to mydatacruncher.com for a free login. This brings me to the fifth trend. Because of a housing shortage, home prices have skyrocketed and everyone loves to predict a market crash coming soon. However, I don't exactly agree. Unlike the 08 market crash, lenders did not allow homeowners to suck out all of their equity with home equity loans or do risky zero down, no doc, no verification loans. Appreciation along with lenders doing smart loans has created tremendous equity for homeowners. I recently read a statistic that the average household with a mortgage now has $194,000 in home equity. That's incredible and what it means is despite the struggling economy and high unemployment, I believe we won't see the wave of foreclosures that some are predicting. Think about it. If you lose your job and can't afford your mortgage payment, but you have $194,000 in equity, are you gonna walk from your home and let it go to foreclosure, or are you gonna sell it and capture as much of your equity as you can? I think we can all agree, you would sell it. Now, the one exception to that is low income areas. Most buyers at the lowest price points buy using FHA financing with only 3.5% down, and those neighborhoods don't tend to appreciate very much anyway. They also are the most affected by layoffs. So I think once the moratoriums and forbearances are all over, we will see an increase in foreclosures and a drop in home values in those low income neighborhoods. But what does this all mean for you and me? Plan on pricing continuing to increase in middle and upper neighborhoods and be ready for when the bottom falls out on the low income and adjust accordingly. Right now, a lot of low-income buy-and-hold investors are selling out for fear of the impending foreclosure tsunami, which means you can get good deals from tired landlords if you flip low-income properties. That means targeting absentee owners might be a good idea right now. But honestly, more than anything, sitting the sidelines right now out of fear that the market might crash is a losing strategy. Stop buying into that hype and get to work. 
Now, while you're waiting for Armageddon, I'm gonna make another million dollars flipping houses. Never forget the fundamentals. Keep doing all the things you should be doing in any market condition. Real estate always fluctuates, but as long as people live in houses, there will always be an opportunity for you and me to make money in the buying and selling process. At the end of the day, the tried and true methods always apply. As long as you follow the principles I teach here on my channel, you can be successful regardless of what the market is doing. Follow these five simple steps. Step one, focus 90% of your effort on lead gen. It's all about getting that good deal. The rest is easy. I created a free report that gives over 67 different ways to find discounted properties from motivated sellers. Now I'll give that to you for free, download link in the description. Step two, when you find a lead, make an offer and do it fast. You don't have time to delay with how quickly the market is moving. Speed to the deal is the name of the game. Step number three, get the house under contract. That means execute a written purchase and sale agreement with the seller. Do not leave the appointment or hang up the phone without getting a written contract. Never forget, time kills all deals. Now, if you need a good purchase and sale agreement, I'll give you mine for free. Link in the description. Hi, Abby. I love you, Dad. Love you, too. Step number four, decide if you want to assign the contract or get funding and fix and flip the deal. Step five, close and collect your fee and get to work fixing it up. And above all else, be consistent. And if you want to really jumpstart your flipping business, I'm always looking for good fix and flip deals. I have systems and capital in place, and I'll pay you $10,000 for every good deal you find and bring me. Now, to learn how to be a deal finder for me, be sure to register for a free training to learn all the details. Just go to my10kcheck.com to learn more. Now, who knows what this year will bring? Sometimes a crystal ball would be nice, but the real estate market is definitely booming right now, and I don't see that changing in the foreseeable future. Next, I want you to watch a video where I discuss the best and worst markets to flip houses in 2021. Watch that now, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel with over 650 videos. This is the number one channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping, and I'll see you on the next video. What happened, Evie? The wheel oh. broke? Oh, no. On your rollers, on your roller blades? Mm -hmm. Do you have all the parts? I'll try to fix it.